Hi, my name is Karen Kaziev and I am the Learning Resource Coordinator at Memorial College of Nursing. In this video, I will be demonstrating conversion type math problems in a very simple and visual way. In this demonstration, I will convert kilograms to grams to milligrams to micrograms, and you can use this same strategy when converting other units of measurement, such as liters to milliliters. The first thing I'm going to do for you is create a visual. This is a kilogram, and imagine this being a gram, which can be written like this as well. And this is a milligram, and this is a tiny microgram. This one kilogram would need 1,000 of these grams to fill it up. Just one kilogram. This gram is just a small portion of the kilogram. Tiny portion, and you'd need a thousand to fill that up. The same thing with the milligram. Very, a milligram is a very tiny portion, one one thousandth of the gram. Tiny, that is the milligram, and you would need 1,000 milligrams to fill up that gram. Same thing for the microgram, 1,000 to fill up just one milligram. And there's the tiny microgram. The way that we would write this, for instance, one kilogram would equal how many grams? It's always a direct conversion and, and you don't need to round. Since you're going in this direction, you're going from kilograms to grams, you're getting smaller. You're starting with a big kilogram and getting smaller to a gram. So that means you move the decimal point three places to the right. There you go, three places. So you have your one kilogram and you move your decimal point one, two, three places to the right. And the answer is 1,000 grams. Same thing for grams to milligrams. You have one gram and you're moving your decimal point to the right because you're getting smaller. And you have one gram. There's your one gram. And you're moving your decimal point one, two, three places. And that equals a thousand milligrams. Okay. We're going to erase this and we're going to do it in the opposite direction. Say you have one microgram. Very small microgram. And you want to know how much of a milligram that is. Since you're going from smaller to larger, you're going to be moving your decimal point to the left. Here's your one, mil one microgram. There's your decimal point, and you're going this way. One, two, three places. And your answer is point zero zero one. Another one, you have one gram. You want to know how many milligrams that is or how much of that gram is it are milligrams. You take your one gram, there's your one, and you move your decimal point to the left. One, two, three places. And the answer is 0 0.001. So if you're going from a value that is smaller to something that's higher, bigger, larger, microgram to milligram, you move your decimal point to the left. If you're going, getting smaller from kilograms to grams, you move your decimal point to the right. I'm just going to erase this and I'll show you something else. Say, for instance, you have 30 grams. How many kilograms is that? What you need to do 
you're going from grams to kilograms. So you're going to move your decimal point to the left. So that's your 30. One, two, three. And your answer is 0.03. The way that you write that is not, does not equal, is not 0 0.030. There are no trailing zeros. So you put your zero in front of the decimal point, and that's your answer. 0 0.03. 30 grams equals 0 0.03 kilograms. Hopefully this brief demonstration makes things a little clearer to you.